Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Brown and I am so happy that you clicked on this video and you are watching it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 different hairstyles that you can achieve with short hair. I'm gonna show you a straight hairstyle and the things that you can do with that. I'm gonna show you a wand curl hairstyle and the things that you can do with that on second and third day. And then also like a wave curl technique as well that I love wearing with short hair. So before we get into this tutorial today, there is going to be a short ad from our sponsor today, Function of Beauty. Thank you so much, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this video today. Hair care, just like skincare, is never a one-size-fits-all thing, and so I think that's why I love Function of Beauty, is you get to personalize it to your hair needs, your hair goals, and Function of Beauty is super easy to use. It is a two-minute quiz that you fill out online. You tell them your hair type, uh, what your hair goals are. You get to personalize it 100%, even down to the color and the fragrances. Another great thing about Function of Beauty products is there are no parabens no sulfates, no GMOs or toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Um, so mine, I chose purple. Since I do have blonde at the very ends of my hair, I want my blonde to be very bright. This purple is a very deep purple and that contrasts the yellow or the brassiness in your hair and makes it very bright. So for mine, my hair goals were to reduce brassiness, replenish hair, strengthen, and I had thermal protection. So for me, what I look for in hair care is something that will not dry out my hair, something that's gonna keep my blonde very bright. Sometimes the purple shampoo really dries out my hair, so I have to combat that with a lot of masks and other hair treatments to uh, try to replenish my hair. So this, I'm able to truly personalize it down to exactly what I need. Right off the bat, I did notice, um, so I had really dry my scalp. I was trying to combat that for a couple of weeks, um, trying to use different things or you know scalp treatments or whatever, but they weren't working. Um, I do have to say, the first time use using this product, it took away all of the dead skin and just really helped revitalize my scalp. And now it looks really, really nice and moisturized. Function of Beauty was so nice to give you guys a 20% off of your first purchase and that link will be linked below. All right, and now right into the video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been really fun to make. It took over a week to film everything. Um, and so I hope you enjoy it. So right here, I'm going to use a 3 4 inch curling iron and I'm going to curl the bottom section of my hair. Now this is going to be a wand curl hair tutorial, but just for this bottom section, I am curling it regular. Now getting ready to start on the mid section of my hair, I'm going to be wand curling. And what that means is just wrapping my hair around the barrel like this. I am not flattening my hair. I'm not making sure that it is a perfect curl around the barrel. I am twisting as I am wrapping. And that is the technique for the wand curl. Now there is some tips and tricks I can show you guys. And that is right here. As I'm getting towards the top section of my hair, I'm going to be grabbing tinier sections, making those a little more defined. And you notice as well, I am curling in every other direction to add definition and texture. Once all of my hair is completely curled, I'm gonna do that flip. And that flip just allows a lot of body to get in that bang section. Now, if you need extra body, go ahead and tease a little bit in the back section and add texture spray if needed. When you add a headband to this type of hairstyle, it just adds more sass. I think it just adds something really fun. Now, as I am putting on this headband here, you see that I am taking out those face framing hairs from the front section of my hair. Just a little bit, not too much. And allowing this type of headband to stay on my head this way, it allows it to stay on all day. Now, if you prefer a skinnier headband, go ahead and just scrunch that up and put it behind the ears, add more face framing hairs, you're good to go. Okay, so for this hairstyle, I love wearing it up. I think that these curls are so fun. If you have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. When I do my hair like this, I feel like my hair is curly, even though it's not. So I just love doing very loose ponytail, low, messy, 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 and then keeping all of these frayed hairs out. My hair day three. So you guys saw me do it the first day, and I said it kind of just relaxes a lot as the days go on. All right, headbands. Headbands are a super fun way to accessorize your hair, especially on second or third day when you feel like you're getting a little oily and the dry shampoo just isn't cutting it. Add a headband and it's, it's gonna be so cute. And then we're gonna pull face framing hairs out 
And that is how I do my headbands. And it's a new day, new hairstyle. And today I am going to show you guys this hairstyle that I do quite often. It looks like this. We're gonna be using the crimper. So in the beginning, you want to crimp this first piece. I really like having that piece stick out from the front side of my ear. So I wanna crimp that just to bring that different type of definition um, and that different look so you can definitely see the crimp. Everywhere else, I do want it to be incorporated um, to where you see it every now and again, but uh, I really like that crimp being in the front. On this next section of hair, I am going to start off with curling away from my face and then towards my face and then do a crimp and then repeat that pattern until you get to the back. Once you get to the back, I really like finishing off this look with most of the crimping being in the back, a few curls here and there, but um, I think that the crimp lays better in the back of the head. All right, this section of hair, I'm gonna start off with the crimp in the front, just because I know that's gonna be a piece that is gonna be covered. Uh, I do want the curls and the crimps to be a variation through the, throughout the different layers of the hair, so not exactly every single curl or crimp is in the same space. So we wanna change it up just a little bit to add that variation in between the layers. If you guys are curious, I am setting my crimper to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then my curling iron is set to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, for the top section of curl, I'm just gonna continue curling the way that I was for the bottom sections, just um, making sure that I interchange my positioning and add in that crimp on the top. And then I'm gonna let everything come to room temperature. And while I am waiting for that to happen, I'm gonna add some texture spray in there, maybe some light hold hairspray. We're gonna move it around and put it in the place we want it. Okay, now that it is tousled around, I'm going to really move my hands in there, separate all of these curls, make it a little more messy, make it a little more big. And then what I like to do with this hairstyle is leave this cute crimp out, tuck this behind my ear, kind of move this as a face frame, and there we go. <laughs> okay, this is day three of that wave curl. Obviously, it's losing a bit of body. It's kind of getting a little crazy in the back, so I'm gonna show you guys how I would style this on day three. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go right above my temples. I'm gonna leave those face firming bangs out. I'm gonna pull it back, use an elastic to do a very loose half up, half down ponytail, and then use this scarf to wrap it around twice. Make sure that that ribbon part is underneath the ponytail, and there you go. Super easy third day hairstyle. All right, so now I'm gonna take out that ponytail, use the same one. I'm gonna go maybe an inch higher, grab just the top section of hair. Now for this top knot, I'm gonna focus it on the back of my head. Usually I like to focus it on the top of my head, but this one I'm gonna focus it more towards the back. So I'm gonna do like a half up, half down ponytail, a little less hair, a little more hair down, framing my face. And I'm gonna put this ponytail at the very back of my hair, tie it, uh, do that bun. I'm gonna take a few bobby pins, go ahead, just secure the bun in place, make it messy. I really, really like this hairstyle for that messy undone look. Um, and it just looks really cute in my opinion. This tutorial is gonna be the simplest of the three hairstyles. So in this one, I'm literally just gonna flat iron my hair like I do normally. Um, I usually use 350 degrees Fahrenheit on my flat iron. Just make sure that everything is smooth. I like to sort of bend the hair at the end towards my face just to give the it that polished look and then I'll go ahead and add some fun detailing at the end to show you guys how versatile just having straight hair is. So if I were to wear my hair straight this would be the hairstyle that I would do. So that big bang in the front with just a little bit of hair poking through on the ear usually an earring of some sort and then if you need tees in the back go ahead and add that. You can do some texture spray in there to add some grit to it and light hold hairspray if you need to hold those bangs over. So this hairstyle is one of your guys' favorites. It's actually, the photo has gone viral all over Pinterest. You guys absolutely love this half up, half down bun. <laughs> um, so I love doing this on second and third day hair when I'm wearing my hair straight. Usually on that first day of straight hair, I really want it to be polished and voluminous. On the second day, it kind of gets a little oily. So um, usually I, I tie it back in this little half up, half down bun, and all it is is just a tiny elastic. You just do a regular ponytail on that third one, you do a half bun, and then you just pin the hairs loosely around um, to your liking. 
So uh, the more that stick out, the better in my opinion for this hairstyle. All right, this one is just a regular top knot. Like I said, I usually do these on second and third day hair as well. And so what I do here is I just use that small elastic once again, put it through like a ponytail, and then on the third time around, I will do a half bun. And then on this, I will take that loose hair that's uh, left out of the half bun and I will wrap it around the, um, the base of the ponytail to cover up the ponytail and then kind of just start pinning everywhere, pulling the front out, pulling the bun out just to make it very big. And um, it never looks the same every single time. And I think that's why I really like top knots is it just adds something fun and spunky to your hair. Um, but like I said, never looks the same. So here it is, the finished top knot look. All right, and thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.